my gosh, I'm I'm getting getting excited by the minute now. Get off of it! Oh, you drop it. Wow. I'm here at Canada's Wonderland during Halloween haunt. Yep, I was kind of expecting that. There were monsters wandering. I just saw sparks over there. So anyways, I'm here for Halloween haunt. This is Canada's Wonderland, the most popular theme park in the country. And well, I, mean, I don't know about in the country, but it's a, it's a very, it's part of, it's a Cedar Fair park. It's owned by Cedar Fair. So anyways, uh, the, here I am for Halloween haunt and you know what? I don't even care if there's people around me. I, I'm already feeling scared by those monsters. Like, I mean, of course, they're not real monsters or like people who are who like dress dress up as monsters. But that's their job to scare people. I mean, I know I'm not gonna get killed by any of them, but yeah, I'm I'm kind of ready to be scared now. They don't recommend this event to anybody under the age of 13. And I can see that because I've heard about Halloween Haunt. I heard that this place is like... I've heard that at this event you get jump scared a lot, so I can understand why. Okay, so that, um, it's not gonna, it's not gonna come alive. stuff here at Haunt, so yeah, because of that, that's why they don't recommend this event to children under 13 years of age, getting jump scared all the time. Like, I've heard that, that this event is just so intense in terms of scaring things. Anyways, it's getting cold right now, and I have to wear gloves, so I'm basically holding the phone wearing gloves. And anyways, I'm gonna, I'm kind of gonna, I'm gonna do what I did like in the summer when I walked around the theme park, except it's gonna be Halloween Haunt Edition. Although in the summer, I was walking along the other side of the fountain. But yeah, I'm just gonna go for a lap, um, just for a walk around the park. Just like in the summer, except I'm gonna cross the bridge right here. Actually, you might even go around the whole park entirely. Except for the Planet Snoopy and Kidsville, because these are two children's areas of the park. And I don't feel comfortable filming in front of little kids. I mean, I don't feel comfortable filming in an area that's uh, where, a lot of, where a lot of kids are. It's kind of like how you cannot comment on YouTube videos that are made for kids. So anyways, I like the colors here. I find everything so spectacular. And I'm gonna be coming here again for Winterfest. And I'll do a vlog here at Winterfest. Hey, there's no water down there. Yeah, they're, I think they're gonna be setting up for Winterfest pretty soon. But yeah, this is the last weekend of Halloween haunt. And they're playing some creepy music here but yeah they're they have ice skating here on the fountains every year at Winterfest so yeah I'll, I'll, I'll also make a, vi uh, a vlog here at Winterfest so basically Halloween haunt is just like Winterfest except it's like a Halloween edition it's something they do every year and they have all kind of props set up You know, I'm wearing gloves, but my hands are still cold. I find that gloves don't really keep your hands warm. Cause, you, cause uh, yeah, I can, I can feel the cold penetrating through my gloves. <clears throat> a 
Okay, so I'll show you where I'm gonna go. So where am I? I, I think I'm like right here. Yeah, so I'm gonna... Yo, I... You know, for a second I thought I was gonna be asked why I was filming, but anyways. So there's Medieval Fair, and, and in the summer I remember coming through up to here, and then around here, past Splashworks, through Action Zone, and then here again. So, yeah. <coughs> That's still what I'm going to be doing the same time. Well, I mean, certainly I'm in better shape than I was before. Oh, I'm about to encounter another monster. Two monsters! <coughs> Dad, shit. I know there's a prop under the bridge because I came here a couple of times in the fall. I mean, I came here in the fall last year and two years ago and I remember there are props right here under the bridge. There's a troll. It's a troll. Yo, it's coming! Okay. I wonder if there's... There's nothing here. Oh yeah, I better be careful because if I'm going to be scared all the time, if I'm going to be jump... <laughs> If I'm gonna be jump scared, I don't wanna be, like, I don't wanna, like, lose my phone. Of course, it's possible I could get jump scared and the phone could just flip out of my hands, but I don't want it to be falling over. Like, I wanna be able to pick it up, okay? I don't want my phone to, like, fall out of my hands over a bridge, because then I cannot get it back. Wow, that light is pretty bright, that, that red light. I've actually, you know, I was, I had to prepare myself to um, come here because, to be, to be scared because I've seen YouTube ads. Like you, you actually see those ads on YouTube advertising Halloween Haunt, this event. And whenever I see those ads on YouTube, there's an ad where like a monster jumps right up at the camera. And I always get scared. And every time I see that, that ad, I cover my eyes. Yeah, uh, I wanted to come here last year, but my mother said no. I mean, my mother wouldn't take me here. Okay, so we got, we've, there's actually a show here that happens nightly every hour, starting at 9 p.m. Yeah, my mom does not want to come to Halloween Haunt because she doesn't like being jump scared, okay? Halloween Haunt is not her thing. Like, she doesn't want to be my companion, so that's why she's not here. And I can see why, and that's also why they don't recommend it to under 113 years of age. <coughs> and yes, I'm feeling better, but it's I still have a little bit of a cough, but other than that, I'm, I'm feeling fine. I think my voice is like 95% back to normal. I wouldn't say 100 though, but I'm definitely in better shape. And they still operate rides during this event. Like, I mean, the rides are still open. You got Drop Tower, then you got Leviathan. This is one of my favorite rides. There's actually, a, the ride's actually going up the hill. Wow, what do you know? I can actually zoom in using gloves. Even with gloves on, I can still zoom. It's gonna go up the hill and it's gonna go down. I like coming to Canada's Wonderland at night because everything lights up. It's like when you go to the CNE, the Canadian National Exhibition at night. Everything lights up, which I like. And here it goes. I don't really know if I want to go on any rides during this event. We'll, we'll just have to wait and see because um, there's an amenity, there are amenities here. There's like a maze. Like I've heard that there's a maze somewhere around here. 
So I kind of want to participate more in the Halloween amenities. And there's smoke right here. That's, um, no, that's not a fire. That's just a prop. That's just, that's also part of Halloween. There, you've got smoke. This is like, it's like when I went, when I used to go trick or treating, there were some houses where there, where there was like uh, smoke that, that came out and you, you know what I'm saying? Like a lot of, some houses like to go full blown during their Halloween decorations. And I like those houses, right? I like houses that really go full blown. Unfortunately, it's expensive to do that, but when you add this smoke thing to your amenity, then you obviously have a lot of money. Oh my gosh, my hands are really getting cold. And I'm not, it's not even funny. With I, Like I'm wearing gloves, but the, I don't see why the cold has to penetrate through my gloves and make my hands cold, okay? Gloves don't really keep your hands warm, okay? They just, they just don't. Well, not wool gloves though. Maybe if, maybe if I wear like, um, those rubber gloves it keeps my hands warmer but I don't like rubber gloves because it's hard to it's hard to do stuff like it's hard to grip get a grip it's hard to like reach in your hands and grab your presto card Actually, finds that Halloween haunt is actually um, a makeup for uh, trick or treating. Cause, and we're walking through smoke again. You see, I'm too old to go trick or treating. I've already explained this all on Tuesday when I went for a walk along the Lower Don River Trail. But uh, I find that like 90% of the population are teenagers at Halloween Haunt. And you see, it's because I can't go trick or treating, I have to ha celebrate Halloween somehow, right? I cannot ignore Halloween, I just can't. I have to acknowledge it, celebrate it, you know? <coughs> is you're actually not allowed to wear costumes to the park to this event like you're just not allowed to wear costumes I mean I can understand that because they already have monsters here they already hire monsters so I can understand oh here comes here comes one Yeah. Well, I mean, this guy knows he's going to be on YouTube. Not that he's doing anything wrong, but he's doing his job all right, but I hope he can be happy on YouTube. Wow, look at the behemoth. That's another one of my favorite rides, behemoth. That, um, those, uh, red light, those red lights, they, they like go up every time. Okay, I think I'm gonna go back. Yeah. So now I'm getting a real feel for it. Now I can cross this off my bucket list after today. 
I can now cross Halloween Lawn off my bucket list. And I can now say I've been to Halloween Haunt and I've been to Winterfest. Only thing I have never been to is Camp Spooky. But of course, I'm not itching to go to Camp Spooky because that's more for children. Like, uh, you're like only like I've actually seen Halloween Haunt and uh camp spooky on tv i think it was yesterday morning or maybe it was wednesday morning i don't remember but uh i know it was this week it was very recently but of course it was in the morning so it was during camp spooky and camp spooky offers trick-or-treating so basically camp spooky is like um is like halloween haunt except it's some um, more appropriate for kids like um it's less scary and there's more things to do for young children wow look at all those pumpkins there those pumpkins on a tree so that's obviously what camp spooky is it's uh for young children they've got trick-or-treating and uh more things to do for younger kids okay and there's Windseeker over there I like how it lights up look at that the Windseeker it's actually like one of the most famous rides in Cedar Fair Parks because there's a Windseeker ride in um, in Cedar Point, which is in Sandusky, Ohio. And that's the Yukon Striker over there. And of course, those owls they're part of Halloween. Or not owls, but you know, the howling sound. Ooh, ooh. Yeah, they're part of Halloween. You know, anything scary can be part of Halloween. And there's my shadow. Oh, look, I'm a, I'm a spooky shadow. Uh, oh, I'm gonna fall into a trap here. I hope you know it. Yeah, I don't normally say this, but because I'm such a, I'm in such a good mood because I'm, I, because I get to cross this event off my bucket list, uh, and because, you know, I don't think they mind being on YouTube. I just don't. Okay. I don't think they'll have a problem with that. I think all they care about is scaring the people. I'm sure they're having a lot of fun scaring everyone, scaring everyone, but uh, yeah, they could probably care less about being filmed. Which is why I'm not going to, uh, you know, I was actually going to uh, go, I was going to continue walking that, that way because I was walking along there in the summer. But I, now I have to deviate from my route because of those monsters. You just, if you want to continue, you have to get past those monsters. And I don't really know if I'm brave enough. Me holding a camera, I don't know if I'm all that brave enough to go past the monsters. I feel like I'm not as brave as I thought. Yeah, I, as I said on Tuesday, I definitely like Christmas more than Halloween. No doubt about it. Okay, I, I like Halloween, okay? I'm not saying I don't like Halloween anymore because I do, I always celebrate it, but I don't, um... 
I wouldn't call it the most wonderful time of the year. Only Christmas is the most wonderful time of the year. Because it has more of a meaning. <laughs> okay, fine, I have to... I'll just deviate from my route. So yeah, guys. You better think about your tolerance. If you're thinking of coming here to this event, you better think about your, your braveness and your tolerance against scary monsters or any scary stuff in, in particular if you're interested in coming here because that's what you're gonna have to put up with. You're gonna have to put up with being jump scared and God knows what. Okay. Now I'm right here where there's a Wonder Mountain Mountains Guardian. So we've got Wonder Mountains Guardian and we've got Windseeker. We've got now we've got Lazy Bear Lodge. Oh wait a second, that's probably what all this construction was back in the summer that I was pointing out because they were building Lazy Bear Lodge. I don't remember this being here. So yeah, that's probably what all this construction was about. Yeah, I just love those, how everything lights up. It's so cool. And I could see a, a crescent moon in the distance. You can actually see another part of the moon, like, I mean, like, you, you can actually see the, like, the dark parts of the moon entirely. Because obviously, when a moon is shining, okay, the moon always looks the same. We've got, the only reason why it's a crescent moon is because, like, the last part of the moon is lighting up and the other part just doesn't light up okay it doesn't doesn't only thing that ta changes shape is the color of the moon so you can't really see the non-lit part well you you i mean you can on video but not uh in real life or outside of the video like i can't see the dark part with with my own eyes, I can only see it when I'm filming. Hey, the park is not as busy as I was expecting. The lineup to get on the rides don't seem to be that long. The thing I, the reason why I don't, why I'm kind of regretting going on rides is because I have like valuable, valuable stuff in my pocket. And I don't have, I don't have a bag or anything, and I have nothing to store them in, and I can't leave my valuable items unattended. <laughs> but I do know there's gonna be some live shows here.
and this is Cyclone. There's another one of my favorite rides. Oh my gosh, I better go over there. Where you see that you see where everything lights up. I better go over there because uh there's probably gonna be some more Halloween, interesting Halloween stuff over there. But first I wanna see what's over there. I mean I know this park so well, okay? I'm well orientated around the park. So I know where where to where to go. Oh my gosh, it's, the music is so loud. minutes to complete my walk around the park so it's not taking as long this time which uh, is pretty good if you ask me it's not taking so long I kind of wonder why it's not taking as long though to film it but anyways there's behemoth another one of my favorite rides and I like how there's like a stand to hold up each letter a stand for the B for the E the H the E it's, it's just that I find it so creative. And it's completely dark now. I started filming at sunset, and now it has turned pitch black on me. It's too loud. That's part of autism. You, you get sensitive to loud noises. I mean, of course, everybody, everyone's different. Like, I'm sure not all autistic people are sensitive to loud noises, but I'm one of them. And look at that. Look at that. I'm a spooky shadow. So I think I know exactly what to title this video and you'll find out soon and I think when I'm done I'm gonna go back to the front of the park so that I can grab a thumbnail shot Okay, let's let's go this way you know what I'm now starting to think the video might realistically be 40 minutes long because I'm almost at, I'm at 28 minutes now and I don't think I'm gonna be done by the time you know I somehow I feel like I'm it's gonna take me an extra 12 minutes and look at that smoke and you can actually see where it's coming out of it's coming out of this machine right here the smoke ma maker so yeah you can actually buy one of those yourself you can go to party city and buy one of them but uh they're pretty expensive and there's mighty canadian mind buster no way in hell i would ride this go on this ride again it shakes too much i went on this mighty canadian mind buster august 2nd 2018 and it hurt like hell There's Yukon Striker. I've been on this ride before, but I think it's a little bit too much for me. I don't know if I want to go on it again. And there's the Yukon Striker going uphill. I don't know if you guys can see it. Yeah, you guys can see it. It's uh, You can only see the bottom of it. And it's, a, it's approaching the top of the hill. And it's basically just going to sit there for a little bit. And here we go. Look at that. Yeah, it literally goes straight down. Like it's a straight down drop. Thank you. 
And there's the logo Halloween Haunt. Yeah, you come you come here, you come to Halloween Haunt, you gotta be brave. I mean, they're not gonna they're not really gonna harm you, okay? They're just doing their jobs, those monsters. And this is Splashworks right here, which is the water park here at Canada's Wonderland. And there's actually been a fire incident here in the summer. Like one of the um one of the water slides got burnt. I kind of find it hard to believe though. I mean, how can one of the water slides catch on fire? Like it's it's water. Okay, anything that is moisturized cannot catch on fire. I, I don't exactly remember where it happened. I know it happened like near the Yukon Striker. And it even says here, Splashworks closed for the season. So it's not gonna open back up until May. Yeah, I think uh, the, it got burnt around this area here. I mean, I was actually watching CP24 that night and because I'm a night owl, I stay up pretty late. Normally I stay up until like 11.30 p.m. And it's, and I saw on CP24 that it caught, that the water park caught fire and I was kind of shocked to hear about it. But yeah, what you gonna do? So yeah, I think this video will be 30, 40 minutes long because I'm not brave enough to go past the monsters, not with a video camera. And I guess I'm gonna have to turn around and go all the way around. So yeah, this will basically be just like my summer video. Nah, I can't, I can't go back there, I just can't. Maybe when I stop filming, I can go back there, but until then, uh-uh. Not, I just can't go there with a video camera. I mean, not that those monsters are gonna stop me from filming, but I don't wanna drop my phone just due to jump scare. You know what I'm saying? Because otherwise it's gonna ruin my video. Wow, pretty impressive. You know, I think I'm liking this event already. I'm glad I came. Okay, I'm walking pretty fast right now. I think this is Frontier Canada. I could be wrong. Yeah, it is Frontier Canada. I was right. But anyways, I did say I was gonna go. Uh, 
to um, that uh, decoration area that I, or not, you know, that uh, light up area. I still have to go there. Well, I'm glad there's not a whole lot of people here. I mean, I was expecting it to be very busy, but I guess not. I mean, I, I thought it would be very busy given the fact that it's the last weekend, but I guess all these people already went. So it's better for me to take my chance. Okay, so I I think this is it. I still have to walk through here. So yeah, I'll probably end at 40 minutes. There's flight deck. Now that ride used to be called Top Gun. But it's a pretty popular ride in the park. pretty busy around this area. We've got um, a couple of gravestones here. This looks kind of like a cemetery. Yeah, it is. This is basically the cemetery section. Ah! I know I knew she was gonna do that she was gonna jump scare like that I was like I was kind of preparing myself for it I just hope she doesn't chase me and there's the giant pumpkin So yeah, I think I'll aim to stop at 40 minutes. And they use pumpkins to hang like that. They use pumpkins as a top decorator. You know, something you hang from. again Wow this hill's pretty steep Yeah I still have to go over there don't I Yeah I do blue this is my favorite color so I would say length of this video will be the same will be just as long as uh, when I was here in the summer when I was making a video here in the summer Okay, people are getting their picture taken, so 
Let's try not to get in their way. I did not show off this part, this uh, part of the park in the summer. Like, uh, I, otherwise I would have remembered. Yeah, I did not, I did not come here, but anyways, this is Thunder Run, which is a ride that goes inside the mountains. Maybe I'll find, find myself uh, some Halloween specials to get, but I don't know, I don't know, I don't know what I'm gonna do. But yeah, I think I'm, I'm gonna stop right here, so yeah guys, if you enjoyed this, leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already and stay tuned.